This is the Jason Walker Show. Two-time National Sports Media Association Montana Sportscaster of the Year and three-time loser, the Jason Walker Show. The best local and statewide sports coverage featuring the biggest guests from Montana. Flint Rasmussen uh, joining us here on the Jason Walker Show. He's freaking exhausting, too. You used to dance a lot more. Yeah, I know, lady. I'm 51 years old now. The NAI Hall of Famers, Mike Van Dees joining us here, Jason Walker Show. And is it just a deal where quarterbacks have to be good golfers? Well, that's all they have time for. They don't work out. They don't lift weights. <laughs> they don't do anything else. They might as well go get on the golf course and at least have some fun. And from across the country. Doug Gottlieb, our guest here on the Jason Walker Show. End of the day, remember, it, it's your show. It's got your name on it. Howie Mandel, our guest here. Jason Walker, deal or no deal? The Jason Walker Show. Broadcasting from the Major Mortgage Man Cave. Here's Jason Walker. Hey, what up? Happy Thursday. Jason Walker Show presented by Capital Collision Center. Montana State Law says it is your vehicle. It is your choice where you have it repaired. Choose Capital Collision Center. Coming up today in Major Mortgage Man Cave, big show. We're going to talk a lot of football with uh, Helena High Coach Scott Evans, also Northern Coach Andrew Rowland, and uh, working on uh, Rocky Coach Chris Stutzream to join us as well. We'll be up in Haver, Rocky Erickson and I, on Saturday broadcasting that Rocky Northern game, homecoming for the lights, so that'll be a fun game, and uh, I get to see the new stadium for the first time, so that'll be kind of cool. You can watch live on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, listen on Podbean, Network One Sports, TreasureStateRadio.com, and so many more great places. Go to JasonWalkerShow.com, our Twitter handle, at JWalkerSports, our email, Jason, at JasonWalkerShow.com, and you can call or text 406-209-1267 anytime. We also have predictions for the day or for the weekend coming up, and on this day in history, the walk-off, and more. So it'll be a fun one. And some exciting news coming out of uh, the Midland Roundtable down there in Billings. Looking forward to that, uh, sharing that news as well. Uh, let's get started, though. The, uh, I saw this article today at 406mtsports.com. And so last week, Friday, Fairfield, or Fairview, rather, had traveled to Lodgegrass to play football. And they were leading big at the half, uh, but at halftime, there was a confrontation. So the Lodgegrass superintendent suspended and recommended the termination of athletic director D. Pretty on top and head football coach Jerry Harris. And then there was a, a Jay Harris, who's a Bighorn County attorney and also Jerry Harris's son, and a... Uh, Lodge Grass assistant football coach was set to file a lawsuit for a temporary restraining order allowing Pretty on Top and Jerry Harris to return to their jobs but then Superintendent uh, Trivian Rides the Bear reinstated Coach Harris. Pretty on Top is still suspended and will face the board uh, I think next Tuesday at its regular meeting. So this all has to do with, and by the way, Lodgegrass is set to play at Circle tonight. So this all has to do with uh, uh, halftime when Rides the Bear directed the coach, Harris, to remove a a student athlete from the game at halftime due to contact tracing for COVID-19. Apparently, the member of the Lodgegrass uh, football team is also on the cross-country team and had ridden a team bus on September 11th, and then a female cross-country athlete tested positive for coronavirus. Three other football players who did not ride the bus were also subject to quarantine. Lodgegrass, so according to Pretty on Top and Coach Harris, does not have a written policy for COVID-19, instead following CDC guidelines. They also seek advice from Indian Health Services and... Um, borrowed some, uh, you know, advice from basically next door Harden. So the student athlete who was asked to re- be removed from the game is uh, vaccinated, also tested negative five times throughout the course of the week. So the coach from Fairview said, yeah, it's fine. If he's got negative testing and is vaccinated, then let him play. 
So there's a lot of a lot of things going on over there. So the student athlete played in the first half. Uh, pretty on top, the athletic director received a call from Rides of the Bear, the superintendent requesting the player's removal. Pretty on top informed the player's grandparents of the potential conflict. The grandparents confronted Rides of the Bear and board members. So at halftime, the, uh, this big blow-up occurs on the sideline, essentially. And Coach Harris said, yeah, we're not pulling the kid out. Basically, because the school doesn't have a written policy to have a deal with COVID. Saying that the player had already played half the game and Lodgegrass could be punished by MHSA for halting the game. Mark Beckman, the executive director, calls uh, any game called for forfeit or called for COVID reasons would be ruled a no contest, but not a forfeit. And Coach Harris said, uh, he said, this is not the place or time to, you know, adjudicate this the kid's got five negative tests and is vaccinated um harris also asked uh, what authority that rides the bear had without a written policy she showed him letters from indian health services and the crow tribes chairman but harris said those don't apply to lodge grass high school The players then told Rides the Bear, superintendent, that if the player, well, she said if the players weren't benched, she'd walk across the field and forfeit. The players were like, no, don't, don't cancel the game. And then there's a whole bunch of issues that come with that. So Fairview's coach said, yeah, Derek Gackle said, let, let the kid play. It's fine. So... Lodgegrass ends up losing 62 to 20. But it's interesting. Uh, so Jerry Harris and Pretty on Top are, well, Harris was reinstated as coach. So he'll coach tonight at Circle. And Harris brings up, an, you know, an interesting point too. It's like, You'd think because of last year, when Lodgegrass canceled all fall sports due to the pandemic, that they'd have some plan at the school, and apparently they still don't. So we'll keep an eye on that, but lots going on in Lodgegrass. Holy cow. But it's all about the kids, remember? And some people forget that. Yeah, all right, Jason Walker show on a Thursday, not here tomorrow. Remember, we're headed up to Haver. We'll be broadcasting the MSU Northern football game on Saturday. I believe that's on SWX Montana. Uh, I'm also going to be calling Rodeo tomorrow and Saturday night from Haver for the Big Sky Region College Rodeo from, uh, from the great city of Haver. So it'll be a lot of fun. And then that'll be aired later, I think, on Altitude, the rodeo. Uh, Taylor Edwards, former MSU billing star, CMR star, promoted to full-time women's basketball coach and head JV coach at Carroll. Uh, Bailey Pasta, who was in that position, uh, took a job at Willamette out in uh, Oregon on, uh, in August. So congrats to Coach Edwards, who came on board a year ago. Good coach, good player. And uh, a really good person, too. So congratulations on that. All right. Uh, we talked about this. So this is cool. Midland Roundtable is uh, in charge of the Montana-Wyoming Hallstar Basketball Series. Well, they announced today that the Volleyball Classic is coming back. It'll be June 18th at Lockwood High School. It'll feature East versus West, the top seniors from classes A, AA, B, and C, 10 players per side. Former Rocky coach, former Roundup coach, uh, just all-around great coach, Lori Kelly will coordinate it. Uh, Rocky coach Yang Yang and Carroll coach Marine Boyle will lead the teams. Yang Yang, a fantastic player in her days at Rocky, about a half a dozen, not even a half dozen years ago. 
and Coach Boyle, a fantastic coach at Carroll, and uh, just a, uh, that's really awesome. So Yang Yang's going to coach the East. Coach Boyle will coach the West, and this was cool. And it's going to be played before the Montana-Wyoming All-Star Basketball Series on June 18th at Lockwood, so it'll be a triple header. You'll have volleyball, then girls basketball, then boys basketball, which is awesome. Uh, that'll be a fun, fun day in Billings in June. Uh, you always have the, the, the Midland tri, uh, Top 10 track and field meet, Wyoming and Montana All-Star Game, as we mentioned. Volleyball used to play, it used to be the Mizuno Classic back in the uh, late 80s and early 90s. And so it's really cool to see these, uh, these volleyballers getting another All-Star chance. It's awesome. Like the basketball kids, football kids get it. Soccer kids have the Shrine Classic. Why not volleyball? So very cool, very cool. Good job by uh, Midland Roundtable for bringing that back. That's, that's awesome sauce right there. And yes, I just said awesome sauce. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, we're going to talk with uh, Scott Evans coming up, Helena High Coach. they got a big game on Friday night at home against Sentinel. We're also going to talk to Andrew Rowland and working on Chris Stutzream, the uh, two coaches involved in the Rocky Northern game this weekend at Haver. Uh, so that'll be a fun game. Uh, we also have predictions coming up. If you want to weigh in any time, you can. 406-209-1267. You can also uh, tweet at Jaywalker Sports and much more. We're going to take a break. We'll come back, and when we do, we'll talk high school football with Helena High Coach Scott Evans. Big win last week, a record-setting win of sorts. And how does or how do the Bengals prepare for the state champs? They're still unbeaten. And Sentinel had itself a tough game last week. What do they expect from the Spartans when they come to town Friday night? We'll find out next with Scott Evans here on the Jason Walker Show, presented by Capital Collision Center. New vehicles keep coming, and Capital Collision Center keeps earning certifications to repair them. They're Helena's newest GM-certified facility. No matter the make or year, they repair your car to manufacturer's standards and requirements, maintaining its safety and value. Montana State Law says it's your vehicle and it's your choice where you have it repaired. Choose Capital Collision Center, certified in GM, Subaru, and Nissan, and Helena's only shop certified in Honda, Acura, and Ford. When you value safety, go to Capital Collision Center on Euclid. Have you thought about buying a home and just don't know where to begin? Well, when it comes to one of the most important purchases one can make, we understand it can be frustrating and confusing, but it doesn't have to be. Let the Major Mortgage Team help you with all your mortgage needs. Major Mortgage means major service, and we would love the opportunity to help you today. Give J.R. McFadden, NMLS number 1246357, a call today at 406-465-1918. Or you can visit him at 2001 11th Avenue, Building A, Suite 3 in Helena. Major Mortgage is a division of AMCAP Mortgage, NMLS number 129122, equal housing lender. Everyone knows about Dinners Done Right and the convenience of the cook and carry cuisines. It's so easy to just stop by and you have something for dinner that night. But there's also one more thing you need to know about. Dinners Done Right Grab and Go Salad Bar. Yes, I said salad bar. Always the freshest ingredients, along with a daily soup and nacho bar, too. So the next time you are in a rush or you just want to eat healthy, stop by Dinner's Done Right for the soup, salad, and nacho bar. For monthly menus and more info, it's dinnersdoneright.com. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. Call State Farm agent Mike Miller in Helena today. Do you love to look at photos of Montana from animals to landscapes and more? Are you looking for a place to get your senior pictures or family portraits done? Are you a business owner looking to upgrade the decor in your offices? Well, look no further than Mark LaRoe Photography. Mark has been shooting beautiful photos all across the Treasure State, from rodeos to portraits, and would love to work with you. Visit MarkLaRoePhotography.com to see many masterpieces of his work, then give him a call to schedule your own photo shoot. Or to purchase one of his fantastic pieces, 
Stop by Spirit of the Big Sky Gallery on Custer in Helena. Mark LaRoe, photography.com. Storewide savings are what you'll find when you shop for new home furnishings at Rucker's Furniture. This means tremendous values on Helena's largest in-stock selection of home furnishings. When you shop Rucker's, you'll find storewide savings on the furniture you want for every room in your home. And you'll also find our selection of Serta Eye Comfort, the most comfortable beds in Helena. 12-month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $299. Ask for details. You'll find storewide savings at Rucker's Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Uh, welcome back, Jason Walker Show. This segment brought to you by Rutgers Furniture. Make the quality choice for your home at Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Back inside the major mortgage man cave, Andrew Rowland still to come. MSU Northern head football coach. I think he's in his fourth season now. Good dude. Got homecoming at Havern. We'll have that for you. Saturday at uh, 1. Rocky Erickson and I will be on the call with you for that one. It'll be lots of fun. Love working with uh, Rocky. He's great. Coincidentally, Northern plays Rocky. So, Rocky hosted, or Rocky was at Northern April 3rd last year. I believe that was also on SWX, Montana. Uh, predictions on the way and much more as well. But there's high school football on Friday night in the Queen City, a big matchup. Top-ranked Missoula Sentinel, fifth-ranked Helena High, and uh, looking forward to a great game. Sentinel still unbeaten after uh, pulling out a 29-21 win over Glacier a week ago. Helena High picked up its first Western AA Conference victory last week as well, a blitzing of Hellgate, a game in which Caden Hewitt lit up the... uh, I uh, led up the uh, Washington Grizzly Stadium. Uh, six touchdown passes, one on the ground, all in the first half, set a school record and broke a school record, like 80-some-year-old school record with those seven touchdowns. Joining us now to talk about that and much more is the leader of the Bengals. He's the leader of the pack. I guess that would be Grady Bennett up at Glacier, right, leader of the pack? Anyway, he leads the, he's the head coach of Helena High. His name is Scott Evans, and he joins us now here on the Jason Walker Show. Welcome, uh, welcome back, Coach. It's always a pleasure to chat with you, especially after a big Bengal victory, which you got um, on Friday night. And let's start, obviously, with the man of the hour, Caden Hewitt. Holy cow, breaking an 86-year-old school record with seven touchdowns. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that one, that's for sure. Uh, that's a kind of one of those long-standing records you don't hear about very often. And it was good that, I mean, I didn't even know about it. To hear it was 86 years old, that's something else. Yeah, he uh, he definitely was on fire on on Friday night. What did what was it about? Well, what, what just what was it about Hellgate that allowed him to do so much? Uh, they left some openings for us on a coverage wise, and Caden did a good job of recognizing what it was. And I think our offense coach did a, a good game plan of simplifying the game to let it come to him a little bit more, and he took full advantage of it. So I I think it was kind of a a, a, a lot of different things that came together all at once. We talked about Chase McGurin a few times already this season, but how about Cade Schlepp being able to get open too because uh, three touchdowns for him is uh, is pretty awesome, and it gives you another weapon as you head into the midway point of the season. Yeah, you know, when we were coming into the season, and I talked to him about it, Cade Schlepp's one of our best receivers. He's a good possession kid, and he's a kid who you know we can rely on, and we knew that he was going to have a big season for us, you know, and he quietly kind of stirred underneath the radar for a little bit. And I, I think now that, like you said, that offers us an opportunity that people have to pay attention to what he's doing. And, and if they don't, he'll strike you too. So it, it just adds another dimension to our game. Obviously, Caden feels pretty comfortable playing on the turf at Washington Grizzly Stadium where he'll be the next four or five years. Yeah, I think he, got, he kind of enjoys that place. I, I'm glad to hear that. I heard he's going there, so I mean, that might make a big difference in his life. <laughs> Very good. Scott Evans joining us. Helena High, high, uh, Helena high football coach on the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline. Uh, as good as the offense was, the defense, uh, could you say was even better? You know, I thought our defense did a good job of things that we – our assignment alignment the week before, as I stated to you before, is 
wasn't very good the week before in Butte. We did some mm-hmm. uncharacteristic mental errors, and our focus is so much better, and our kids aligned well, and they did a good job. You know, we got, as I said before, we didn't lose the athletes when we got to Butte. We just lost the game. So our athletes came back and had a better focus, and it kind of took over defensively, and you saw what those guys could do. Man, it's just an impressive performance all the way around. Did you? What did you say pregame uh, about the experience of playing at Washington Grizzly Stadium? And because obviously, whatever you said, definitely went out and went, they they went out and, and, and worked really well. You know, I don't know if I gave a big Gene Hackman Hoosier speech or anything <laughs> like that, but you know, I, more than anything else, it was just kind of talking about we 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 talked about the F word. I like more than anything else, focus. You know, we talked about that one. You know, and. Mm-hmm getting in there and focusing on our job and focusing on what our assignments were and everything else will take care of itself. And if we can kind of keep with that mantra, we'll be all right this season. But, you know, with 15 to 18-year-old kids, you got a position where focus becomes a very apparent thing that you have to do quite a bit of. Hello to hi, uh, Coach Scott Evans, our guest on the Jason Walker Show. All right, flip gears because now it's a completely different kind of team coming to town as uh, Sentinel, the number one team in the state, uh, the defending champs, roll into uh, the Queen City on Friday night. This is still a very good football team. They've been tested a couple of times already this year, once by West and then last week by Glacier, but they're still undefeated, and they're still number one for a reason. Well, and they should be. I mean, that's a great program over there. Coach Oliver and his staff have done a great job of building something over there. they got a thing now that's called tradition, and they, and they expect to win. You know, it's not like in years before that when Sentinel was struggling. They, it was they might win. Now it's they expect to win, and that's that's a heck of a cultural change right there. And you know you see it. So we know what we got. We're going against. We got a team that's fourteen and zero over the last two years and won a state title. And they ran it pretty handily last year. And you know we know going in that we have a battle, and it, it's a great battle. And I love the challenge that it offers to our guys. It starts with uh, for a Sentinel with Zach Cruz, uh, as good a quarterback as you'll find this this year, aside maybe from Caden Hewitt, who is the best in the state, but. Uh, a couple of touchdown passes last week. They've got some weapons on the outside, too, with Drew Klumpf and Peyton Stevens. Yeah, you know, he does a good job. But that's the one thing I'll tell you is Cruz is one of the most competitive kids in the state, if not the most competitive kid. I, You know, I, I can't give him props over our guys because I don't coach him, but just watch them and track and feel and everything he does. He wants to win at everything he, he's going at. So that's a heck of an attribute you have in your team leader, and it's kind of it goes out to everybody. He uses it out to everyone else around him. And, you know, and there's guys outside that, you know, people always thought, oh, Sentinel lost this, lost that. They, they still have a great program and have great coaches over there. And those guys on the outside, they're dangerous. I mean, they got good backs, good receivers. They're pretty much, you know, they're a solid football squad all around. When you look at their defense, they've, uh, they don't, it doesn't appear to be as strong as last year, but this is a game that they're going to be tuned up for, obviously, with, with what you guys have offensively. But this is a, a very good Spartan defense still. Yeah, you know, they do good stuff. They're, they're schematically very simple, but they run some things at you that you don't see very often with blitz-wise and do some multiple looks at you and try to get after a quarterback. And, you know, they, they do a good job of getting their kids in a position to make plays, and I think that's on both sides of the ball. But defensively, they, they, they don't do anything that's going to wow you and give you a scheme that's outrageous, but they come after you hard and their kids play fast and they tackle well in space. And we got to do a good job of just taking what they give us and, not be greedy, and we'll be fine. Scott Evans, our guest here, Mike Miller, State Farm Hotline. Give me an intangible that that m- might not be thought of by the average fan for this game Friday. I, you know, I, I, I truly think it's our old line and the way they've been playing. I think that's the thing that gets kind of lost in the shuffle is our old line just keeps getting better each and each every week. You know, and he would get the chance to throw those seven, six touchdowns and run for one and. Our other guys get to perform at a high level because those guys in the trenches. I, I think there's some guys there that they're coming around and they just get better every week. And if you can get your own line better every week, you're doing something pretty great, special, and that can lead to great things down the road. You know, Cade was our uh, uh, um, auto contest performance of the week. I had to split it though because there was a kid from San Ignatius that totaled eight touchdowns. He threw for seven and ran for one. Um, Caden's got his work cut out for him this week. Yeah, I have, if, if we have that many more to bank, I'm going to be a happy man this Friday night. I'll tell you that much right now. You know, if, that, if the number eight comes up and it's in our favor, then I'm going to be smiling from ear to ear. I'll tell you that at about 10 o'clock tonight on Friday night. I like that. Uh, you get to piggyback home. How nice is that after a couple of weeks on the road? 
you know, it is. It's great. You know, we there's so much. You know, the, we have the pageantry of our Bengal walk and things like that that we do, and getting the fans back in the stands again. I love their first game of town. We played senior, and now we get that back again. There, there's just no. There's nothing better than seeing your home folks here and getting a chance to not have to travel on the road. And I mean, and we get the friendly confines of vigilante. You know, they, they straighten the place out a little bit. Looks nice and. We got some things going on there, so it's nice to be back home. I know you got Chase Benson down at uh, MSU, and we've talked about him, but I asked Kyle Mahelish this the other day, and I wanted to get your thoughts. If you had Troy Anderson on your team, where would you use him? Everywhere. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, he can carry the water, serve the popcorn, and coach the game if he wants to. That's an incredible athlete. I, that, that's that's one of those prime time players I'm seeing on often. I mean, I. In the state of Montana, Troy Anderson, that's that's a football name that will go down in history of one of the better football players that came to the state. And I just, I mean, he's a joy to watch, and he just does so many different things. And it, it, it's it's incredible to see. I mean, I just, I, I, mean, I think the world of the kid is a football player, and I know as a person, he's a good person too. So that that, that even adds even more to it. If, you had, if you'd had to coach against him, how, how do you? I, you know, I... There, there's sometimes in your life that you can design everything you want, and it doesn't matter what you design. They're just a better guy than everyone else on the other side of the ball. I mean, I've, I've watched that guy get tackled by some of the best players in the nation, and all of a sudden he's out running for 60 yards, and you're going, how did he do that? And There's no explanation. and it's not you, you, you don't change your scheme. You don't change who you are because you just can't stop greatness sometimes. You just let it go. How, how would it, how cool would it have been to have a defense uh, linebacker core uh, with him and Chase and and uh, maybe a, a guy like Chase Lewis? <laughs> I, I I would have taken that. You know, I I, I got to get a bigger budget for my recruiting to get that. Oh, up, hey, let's that. let's not go there. <laughs> I'm not touching that one. I'm talking about for college. I'll take those oh, guys. okay. Chase, I got. You. Chase is down in town, and he used to hang out with Chase Benson all the time, and I used to see him and. The Texier and those guys, I just would say, man, I kind of wish those guys would move about ten miles down the road, right. and we could get them here because there's some there's some seriously good football players out in Boulder and Townsend and these small towns around us. They're they're great football players, and you you, you know you you know that it doesn't matter what league they're in; they're great football players in any league they go to. Yeah, there's no question. I mean, we've been lucky and spoiled for a, a few years to have some great ones to watch. Uh, good luck on, on Friday night uh, under the lights at Vigilante. Well, it'll start in the light and then un- end under the lights. Did that make any sense? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Today is it, it, it's somewhere. All right, hey, hey, before I let you go, today is Dear Diary Day. Give me an entry from the Scott Evans Diary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not much of a diary type guy. You know, I, I kind of go with the flow and know what's going on. Uh, I'm not much of a diary guy, so I don't have any Dear Diary stories for you, dang it. All right, I got one for you. Dear Diary, the other day I talked to Jason Walker of the Jason Walker Show. We went out then the next night and got a win over Sentinel and knocked off the number one team in the state. I like that diary entry. I'll take that one for sure. (laughs) Helena, hi, Coach Scott Evans joining us, Jason Walker Show on the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline. He is, uh, he's fun. He's fun to chat with. Um, and they got a big game, 7 o'clock, under the lights, right? Vigilante Stadium. Man, that'll be fun. Sentinel and Helena High Friday night uh, in Helena. Other good games this week. A lot of predictions coming up. Uh, also going to talk to Andrew Rowland just around the corner. Um, the MSU Northern coach will be at the Northern game as they host Rocky on Saturday. Rocky Erickson and I on the call, SWX Montana. That'll be a lot of fun. Love working with Rock. Taught me um, a lot of stuff in this business, so I, I always enjoy the chance to work with uh, with Rocky Erickson. Uh, you can weigh in at Jay Walker Sports anytime you want. You can also uh, tweet. Well, that is tweeting. You can text two zero nine twelve sixty seven or call into the show as well. Um, trying to get some updates on. I um, got some family members that are. I got an uncle in the hospital with COVID. I've got a cousin on a ventilator right now with COVID and trying to get some uh, updates on them. Um, it's real, folks. We've talked about it. I know you don't, you're tired of hearing about it, but so am I. But when you have family members affected by it, it's, uh, it hits home. 
hope uh, hope my family members um, recover out of this. So get your shots. I don't care. Get, just do whatever you need to do, okay? Take care of yourself first and foremost, and then take care of your family. But uh, what else did we see today? Oh, I saw that. Did you see that the White House um, stopped and basically banned the use of horses? The Border Patrol can no longer use horses down on the border because of misinformation, of course, lies from the mainstream media the other day because they don't know what horse reins are. So now all of a sudden, the Border Patrol is uh, getting screwed by the White House. It's unbelievable. What is this administration's deal? Like, how bad do they want to bring down this country? It sucks. So bad. And Lee Greenwood was removed as a member of um, the Arts Council, like the National Arts Foundation. Because I guess when you say I'm proud to be an American, um, that's a bad thing under this administration. Unfreaking believable. You can weigh in anytime at Jay Walker Sports. You can email Jason at jasonwalkershow.com. Let me know your thoughts on sports, pop culture, whatever. We'll take a break. We'll come back. And what we do, we'll uh, chat with MSU Northern football coach Andrew Rowland. It's homecoming for the lights. We'll get a chance to hang out with Mike Van Deest on Saturday, get a chance to see the coach. That'll be fun. Also got some rodeo this weekend up in uh, Haver as well. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back when we do. Northern coach Andrew Rowland will join us. Jason Walker Show. Storewide savings are what you'll find when you shop for new home furnishings at Rutgers Furniture. This means tremendous values on Helena's largest in-stock selection of home furnishings. When you shop Rutgers, you'll find storewide savings on the furniture you want for every room in your home. And you'll also find our selection of Serta Eye Comfort, the most comfortable beds in Helena. 12-month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $299. Ask for details. You'll find storewide savings at Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. Call State Farm agent Mike Miller in Helena today. New vehicles keep coming, and Capital Collision Center keeps earning certifications to repair them. They're Helena's newest GM-certified facility. No matter the make or year, they repair your car to manufacturer's standards and requirements, maintaining its safety and value. Montana State Law says it's your vehicle and it's your choice where you have it repaired. Choose Capital Collision Center, certified in GM, Subaru, and Nissan, and Helena's only shop certified in Honda, Acura, and Ford. When you value safety, go to Capital Collision Center on Euclid. Yes, it's true that Montana is a long way from the Gulf Coast, but you can bring that Cajun flavor home with a stop at Cafe Zydeco. From po' boys to classic sandwiches, Cafe Zydeco has all the best Cajun in town. Are you in the mood for seafood gumbo or crawfish etouffee? Maybe you're craving jambalaya with some shrimp and grits. Head in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or call ahead for pickup or delivery. Cafe Zydeco will fix all your southern cravings, even on a chilly Montana day. Cafe Zydeco is a proud sponsor of the Jason Walker Show. Have you thought about buying a home and just don't know where to begin? Well, when it comes to one of the most important purchases one can make, we understand it can be frustrating and confusing, but it doesn't have to be. Let the Major Mortgage Team help you with all your mortgage needs. Major Mortgage means major service, and we would love the opportunity to help you today. Give J.R. McFadden, NMLS number 1246357, a call today at 406-465-1918. Or you can visit him at 2001 11th Avenue, Building A, Suite 3 in Helena. Major Mortgage is a division of AMCAP Mortgage, NMLS number 129122, equal housing lender. Everyone knows about Dinners Done Right and the convenience of the cook and carry cuisines. It's so easy to just stop by and you have something for dinner that night. But there's also one more thing you need to know about. Dinners Done Right Grab and Go Salad Bar. Yes, I said salad bar. Always the freshest ingredients, along with a daily soup and nacho bar, too. So the next time you are in a rush or you just want to eat healthy, stop by Dinner's Done Right for the soup, salad, and nacho bar. 
for monthly menus and more info, it's dinnersdoneright.com. Do you love to look at photos of Montana from animals to landscapes and more? Are you looking for a place to get your senior pictures or family portraits done? Are you a business owner looking to upgrade the decor in your offices? Well, look no further than Mark LaRoe Photography. Mark has been shooting beautiful photos all across the Treasure State from rodeos to portraits and would love to work with you. Visit MarkLaRoePhotography.com to see many masterpieces of his work. Then give him a call to schedule your own photo shoot or to purchase one of his fantastic pieces. Stop by Spirit of the Big Sky Gallery on Custer in Helena. MarkLaRoePhotography.com. Welcome back to the Jason Walker Show. Welcome back, Jason Walker Show. On a Thursday, final segment for the week. Off tomorrow as we head up to Haver to get ready for MSU Northern Rodeo and football. Also, Rocky Volleyball is going to be at Northern tomorrow. Big weekend. Homecoming for the lights and the skylights. That is a live look at uh, Lake Erie on EarthCam.com. Partnered up with EarthCam, so appreciate uh, their great shots. We'll try to show more throughout the, as we go on. We talk mostly Montana and statewide sports. Well, that Montana is statewide. <laughs> we talk Montana sports, but it's cool to see what's going on across the country sometimes as well. So as we welcome you back inside the Major Mortgage Man Cave. And we got predictions coming up. Also, uh, on this day in history, the walk-off and more. Unable to... Uh, get Coach Stutzream from Rocky, and it was our recording error that happened, not his fault, so uh, blame our system. But Rocky coach Chris Stutzream, we'll get him on uh, down the road. But now it is time to be joined by the coach he's coaching against this weekend. It is Andrew Rowland from Montana State Northern as he joins us now on the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline. All right, Coach, I appreciate you joining us. I figured, you know, I'm, uh, I'll be up there calling the game. I should probably talk to both coaches involved, and, and you're, the, uh, you're the, the home coach, so let's start with you first. But uh, how are you feeling after the, the start of the season so far? Not where we want to be, um, obviously in a win-loss column. But, you know, after the you know, second half of the Western game, we showed a lot of improvement. You know, uh, we beat them in the second half, 28-14, to 14, and uh, – you know, we just got to, we have to play with more consistency. I think when we execute at a high level, we're pretty good, but we're making too many mistakes. And, and we've got some self-inflicted wounds that have hurt us um, in a number of games, especially the first game and then, and then this last week against Western. Um, so we've got we've to grow in a lot of areas. And the first one being consistency. We need to be more consistent in our execution. And, um, you know, I think our guys believe they can do it, and, and, we're, and we're going to. I know we will. Uh, we just got to continue to put them in situations in practice, uh, in competitive situations, and, and get comfortable, get used to winning. And that's what we need to do. Um, we have what it takes, uh, but we've, we've got to execute. We've got to do it on Saturday. You start with your run game, as does every team, but with Isaiah Boss, man, what a stud. Uh, 122 yards and uh, a couple of big touchdown runs against Western. But this is a guy that seems to be getting better as the year goes on, too. Yeah, and he was a freshman last year, played for us, had to step in with our starter carrying his ACL against Rocky in the spring with Dre Proctor um, going out. And so he's a guy that had to step in as a freshman and play for us and, you know, got some great um, experience. And now, you know, is put in a situation where he won the job as a starter and, and uh, you know, he's a great tailback. And he's only going to get better. And, and you've seen that from week to week. And, um, you know, a run game in, in our offense is important as any offense, but we've got to establish a run, and, and he did a nice job in our offensive line that starts there. Did a really nice job in the second half, specifically against Western and our tight ends as well, and we've got to do that and carry that in all four quarters moving forward against Rocky, a good Rocky team. Uh, tell me about Cayman Curtin, your, uh, your, your, your uh, Curtin, is that how you pronounce it? Kierton, yep. Kierton, Kierton. yep Kierton. I should probably know how to pronounce it since I'll be there Saturday. But um, <laughs> right. he uh, he's a big dude, and this is a this is a this, the type of quarterback you want. Two eighteen through the air, touchdown, and um, he also is getting better week by week. Yeah, he's he's grown um, in our offense. He's only been here since June, and so 
he's only going to improve as well. And, you know, we got to take care of the quarterback or take care of the football, I should say, um, at that position. And so he's got to continue to get better there. Uh, he does, you know, he, he runs well. He's, uh, he's elusive and gets out of bad situations um, in the pass game, but also, you know, he's an accurate passer. He's only getting more accurate and more comfortable in what we're doing offensively. So he's going to continue to improve. And But above all that, you know, his mindset is uh, he's got a championship mindset. You know, he's, he's a great kid and, and works extremely hard and puts a lot of time and effort in the film and, and study and, and getting better. And so um, I'm excited to see his growth moving forward. Um, he still has a lot to improve on, uh, but he's getting there. You know, he's getting there, and I think our team's starting to gel and our offense is starting to figure it out a little bit. Um, you know, we're going to have to. We're gonna, it's a great league and a great every week. You know, we're going to play great defense and offensively, and, and uh, we got to show up. And like I said, we just need to execute and, and take care of the football. We have too many self-inflicted wounds on offense, penalties and, and turnovers that, you know, are not like us. You know, and so we need to get out of that, uh, you know, a little bit of a cycle. And if we do that, you know, we're going to put ourselves in a better position to do what we do well, you know. And so that's what we're looking to do this weekend, you know, just play with more consistency. Talking with MSU Northern football coach Andrew Rowland on the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline. You mentioned consistency a bunch on the offensive side, but one thing has been consistent, and that's 42 points. And I know that's something you guys would like to see come down, as in points allowed per game. Um, but the defense, uh, it, it seems to, it's taken a while to gel uh, a little bit, but uh, at some point it's going to click, I, I, I guess. Yeah, and I think it's actually started to. I think those numbers are, especially, I, I, I should say last week especially, um, our defense in the first three drives, two out of the first three drives were three and out. You know, mm. um, we put in the first quarter, we had a muff punt, a block punt, and a fumble on offense that put our defense backed up in the red zone. You can't do that to your defense, you know, and so all of a sudden they're having to defend from the 20 yard line. And, you know, that's tough to do no matter what defense you have. So I, I, I'm actually pretty proud of our defense, especially this past week. I thought we played a lot better. Now we still gave up some, we're giving up too many big plays. I think, you know, we're uh, pretty stout, uh, especially in the run game. But then there's, you know, uh, a couple of times we, we've given up some big, you know, in, in the past game specifically some big plays that didn't need to happen. So, it's just everybody doing their job, all 11 guys. You're, you know, you always talk about, you know, you're, you're 111, right? You're doing your job. If everybody does their job uh, consistently, we're going to, you know, we're going to execute at a high level. So um, I'm proud of our defense. I think we improved a lot last week when you watch the film and you go back. I think the number is a little uh, skewed from that first quarter, first half, when, you know, we gave them 21 points in that first quarter because of, you know, putting our defense in a bad situation. So we've got to, we've got to, it's a team game and we've got to uh, play together and, and, you know, can't make the mistakes on offense and special teams that put us in those situations. Well, your, your defense is not going to get a, a break this week as you got Nathan Dick and Rocky coming to town, a very balanced offensive uh, uh, juggernaut with the Batland Bears. Well, how do you shut them down? Yeah, I think it's, you know, it's like you got to stop the run, but it's going to start with that quarterback with Nate. You know, I think he's a great player. He makes plays with feet and um you know he rallies back so we you know we've got to we've got to get this quarterback in the pass game we've you know i think joe fair's had a great season so far our, our defensive end um he had one and a half sacks last game and you know he's he's got to uh, we got to continue to put pressure on the quarterback and and contain him uh but we still have to stop the run you know you got to be able to stop the run and then our db's got you know we need to continue to cover uh which we've done well we had three interceptions last week in the second half one for an inter uh interception for a touchdown a pick six um, you know, part of that is, is getting getting a rush on the quarterback. So it's containing him because he does uh, he does do a nice job of of being resourceful and getting out of situations and, and making plays with his feet. You know, when he drops back and passes, and so just got to contain him and and put pressure on him and, and cover well and, and and tackle in the open field. He's a good runner, and but that's everybody. They've yeah. got some good skill positions on the outside at receiver. You know, and, and we've got to cover well and do our job and. Um, you know, with what we do in our coverages and, and, and continue to stop the run. We've got to stop the run. If we do that, uh, we're going to give ourselves a great chance. Lights coach Andrew Rowland joining us, Jason Walker show. All right. It's my first time to have her in the new stadium. Tell me what to expect. Hey, expect, uh, uh, expect a lot of fans. Uh, it's going to be rowdy. It's going to be fun. Um, this is the biggest party and on the high line fan on Saturdays. And, um, it's a great stadium, a great venue to watch a, a game. Um, 
it's one of my favorites already, you know, and not just because I'm biased because it's our home <laughs> stadium, but it is fun. You know, it's uh, from pregame, tailgate to, uh, you know, um, our intro with our, you know, guys running in. It's a, it's a fun environment. It's a fun, exciting time. And, uh, you know, we've got to go out. And what's important to me is going to be the game. But as a fan, you know, it's, it's a fun place to watch a game. Well, I can't wait to uh, to be up there and not in the old press box over at uh, at Blue Pony Stadium, but in the inside yeah. the new digs. I can't wait to be up there, Coach. Appreciate the time. Good luck Saturday. We'll see you Saturday, and uh, and thanks for joining us. Thanks, Jason. See you then. Andrew Rowland, head coach of MSU Northern, great dude, and he's going to get that program turned around, uh, and and on the right track. They're on. They're already turning around and on the right track. It doesn't show in the win loss column. But I, I, think, I think the lights are getting better. Uh, so that game is at 1 o'clock kickoff. Um, Rocky Erickson and I will have that call for you this weekend on uh, great TV channels across yours TV dial. Does that make sense? Sure. All right. Should we do predictions? I think we should do predictions. All right. We're going to try. Uh, we're going to pick 10. I can't remember. What, what did we do? Uh, six and four last week? I think we were nine and one the week before. We had a good week. All right, here we go. We got some music now over Copperhead Road, Steve Earle, the karaoke version. What did we do last week? Now I got to go back and look it up. Because why not? Uh, here we go. We went six and four. We're now 27 and 13 overall, which isn't bad. All right, here's your predictions for the week. We'll start with Capital at Glacier. Wolfpack, talented. Jake Rendina, two-way players, tremendous. Capital's defense is stellar. How about we take the Bruins on the road for the upset, 21-17. Sentinels at Helena High, Bengals blitzed Hellgate, seven touchdowns last week from Caden Hewitt. Sparty's fought off Glacier. Defending champs will hold Hewitt down, but not enough. Bengals will get the upset, 28-24. Whitefish is at East Helena. Bulldogs 4-0 on the season, ranked fourth in the 406MTSports.com polls. Vigilante still looking for that first varsity win. They did score their first varsity points, 22 of them last week. They'll score 21 this week, but fall to Whitefish, 45-21. We've got Columbus at Jefferson, a top eight matchup in Class B. Jefferson, tough at home. Will it be tough enough to top number two? And I think yes. Jefferson will win 35-28 over Columbus. Three Forks is at Townsend. Bulldogs, a tight one in the loss last week to top-ranked Florence Carlton. They did not drop in the polls. And Townsend beats the pants off the Wolves at home, 49-17. Mile City is at Haver. Big game at Blue Pony Stadium tomorrow night. And Ponies will ride the Cowboys 34-21. Carroll, Southern Oregon. As we move to the college, Raiders held the three points last week. College of Idaho, the Saints scored just seven. More offense this weekend in Ashland, but the Raiders win 35-21. Matt Strzok's legit. Western is at Tech. Big rivalry game in the frontier. Ryan Norse, head coach of Montana Western, has never won at Bob Greenfield. Kyle Sampson got his first Frontier Conference win last week. Tech will ride that momentum to a 38-31 victory. College of Idaho is at Eastern Oregon. Mountaineers, the lone unbeaten in the Frontier, and they will stay that way, a 28-17 win over the Yotes. And the game that I'll be calling with Rocky Erickson in Haver, Rocky at MSU Northern. The Lights have given up 42 points in each of the three games this season. They will not give up 42 this week. Battling Bears will get the win, 35-24. to 24. Those are your predictions. If you agree or disagree, you can tweet at jwalkersports, email jason at jasonwalkershow.com, and you can weigh in anytime, 406-209-1267. There you go. Thanks to uh, Steve Earle there for the background music. I kind of liked it. Uh, time for On This Day in History. It is brought to you by or Mountain Nutrition. Mountain Nutrition, 3222 Centennial Drive in Helena, between BMC and Auto Concepts, right next door to Bad Boy Bail Bonds. 
Uh, today is September the 23rd. It is Thursday, Great American Pot Pie Day today. That sounds really good. Uh, snack Stick Day, Teal Talk Day, Restless Legs Awareness Day, Checkers and Dogs in Politics Day. Uh, Richard Nixon gave his Checkers the dog speech on this day, I think, in 1952. And it is International Day of Sign Languages. On this day in 1845, the first baseball team ever, New York Knickerbockers, would organize. 1868, the British Open at Prestwick. Tom Morris Jr. beats his dad, Tom Morris Sr., by three. And at 17, young Morris remains the youngest Open champion. 1926, the upset of the decade as Gene Tunney beats defending champ Jack Dempsey in a 10-round unanimous decision. 1952, undefeated Iraqi Marciano knocks out defending champ Jersey Joe Walcott in the 13th for the World Heavyweight Boxing title. 1983, Steve Carlton of the Phillies becomes the 16th to win 300 games. 1988, Jose Canseco, baseball's first ever to steal 40 bases and hit 40 home runs in the same season. Uh, let's see here. Gail Sayers passed away on this date a year ago. Dementia and Alzheimer's. Uh, Source for the movie, Brian Song, of course. Uh, great, great Hall of Fame halfback, four-time Pro Bowler, two-time NFL rushing leader with the Chicago Bears. Uh, let's see. A couple other things happened. 1806, Lewis and Clark returned to San Luis from the Pacific Northwest. And 1897, the very first Frontier Days rodeo celebration in Cheyenne, Wyoming. It's pretty awesome. 125 they've done. Pretty darn cool. That is uh, On This Day in History brought to you by Mountain Nutrition. You can check them out on Facebook, MTN Nutrition. Also Instagram, MTN Nutrition MT. And uh, also on our page, we share them. Uh, great shakes, great teas. You can get aloe shots. The teas with a, a metabolism booster. You get 21 vitamins and minerals in those teas. You have uh, different flavor combinations. And I think we're going to work with Abby to develop a Jason Walker Show tea. That would be good. Like my favorite of, of the teas. So I have to mix some colors. But I think that would be awesome. My wife had the cutthroat yesterday, thought it was outstanding. It was peach, mango, pina colada. She's also had the Yellowstone and the Flathead. Uh, the uh, Bitterroot's a good one. I need to write down what all flavors are these. I forget. And then you go to the shakes. Just the shakes alone, holy cow. Meal replacement shake, if you want. French vanilla, Dutch chocolate, Oreo overload, chocolate peanut butter, thin mint, banana cream pie, and many, many more. 3222 Centennial, Mountain Nutrition, great sponsor of the Jason Walker Show. All right, time for this. We're almost at the end of the show. Let's go. What did we learn? And what did he miss? Time for the walk-off. <laughs> Uh, the walk-off is presented by Cafe Zydeco on Euclid in Helena. And my wife didn't hear. I was hollering last night if we could get Cafe Zydeco. She didn't hear me. So um, we'll see tonight if, we, if she brings home Cafe Zydeco after picking up the little one at uh, a daycare. But we'll see. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll go get dinner tonight. They get a girls' weekend because I'll be up in Haver, so that'll be fun. Maybe we'll do a, uh, Maybe I'll get to pick dinner tonight. We'll see. But Cafe Zydeco is a great spot for your dinner or your lunch, but especially for your dinner. I mean, we've talked about oh, so many of these things. Uh, the wraps alone, unbelievable. Cubano wrap. You get the French dip, gut bus, or hot turkey, Philly cheese, or Reuben, just classic sandwiches. You get pitas and salads. You get po' boys, fried chicken po' boy, fried shrimp po' boy. You want barbecue shrimp, you can. Barbecue po' boy. All that jazz. Roast beef, so many more. Great ones at Cafe Zydeco. Love their support for our law enforcement and our first responders. And uh, we love Cafe Zydeco. Uh, today is uh, September the 23rd, as we mentioned, the walk-off. And once again, I just want to thank all of our great guests this week. Had a good week. Um, talking with uh, Scott Evans, Kyle Mahelish, Dan McGowan, Alex Eshelman for That's What She Said, Andrew Rowland. Apologies to uh, Coach uh, Stuttream for not being able to get him on. Uh, Jay Linderman, Forey Smith. If you missed any of our shows this past week, you can go to jasonwalkershow.com and uh, check them out. I highly recommend it. 
Off tomorrow, we got Rodeo in Haver tomorrow night and Saturday night, and then we'll be on SWX Montana, I believe, on Saturday afternoon with football. From beautiful Haver, Montana. Party on the High Line. It is homecoming on the High Line. And I'll be working with Rocky Erickson. Tune in, won't you? 1 o'clock kickoff. Good luck to everybody in uh, action this weekend. That includes uh, games tonight in the double A. Uh, who is playing tonight? Oh, yeah, you got Lodgegrass at Circle, Flathead at Hellgate, and Bozeman at Skyview tonight in football. If you miss anything, JasonWalkerShow.com. We'll see you back here on Monday, 4 o'clock. Have yourself a great weekend. The Jason Walker Show is produced by the Jason Walker Media Company. Any reuse, rebroadcast, or retransmission without the express written consent of the Jason Walker Show is strictly prohibited. Just listen, watch, and enjoy.